I'm going to show you how to record high quality vertical video on your Mac using OBS Studio for Mac, the free open source live streaming and recording software. Here we are in OBS Studio for Mac. This is OBS version 30.1.0 running on Mac OS 14.3.1 for your reference. So to create a vertical video or to record a vertical video in OBS, one thing you want to do first, and this is kind of a pro tip that'll save you a lot of grief moving forward when you want to record vertical video in OBS, and that is to create a preset for your vertical video recording. Trust me, it saves you a lot of time. And it's pretty easy here in OBS. So to create a preset for my vertical video recording, I'm going to go up to the top of the OBS menu here and select profile. And from there, select new. I'll name my new profile vertical video, leave everything as is and hit OK. Now you can see here at the top of the window, it says profile vertical video. That's my vertical video profile. Now what a profile does is store all your settings that you create in OBS for future. It's kind of like a template. Now, another thing I want to do to create my preset for vertical video here in OBS is to go back over and select scene collection and there select new. And I'm going to create a new scene collection and I'll call it vertical video and hit OK. Now, notice what happened at the bottom of the interface. First of all, at the top of the interface, it says scenes vertical video. This is my new scene collection for vertical video. But more importantly, if you look down at the bottom, we have the generic scene, one scene in the scenes panel, no sources, nothing in the audio mixer. And that is because creating a new scene collection kind of created a blank slate. So now I can create any scenes I want for my vertical video preset. A scene collection is exactly what it says. It's a collection of scenes for a specific profile. So you can create different profiles and scene collections for different types of videos that you want to create using OBS. So you can have one for recording, you can have a profile and a scene collection for live streaming and so on. And selecting a profile or scene collection is as easy as going up to the top menu and under profile, selecting the profile you want. You can see right now it's currently vertical video. Same goes for scene collection. Scene collection, vertical video. All right, now that I've created my profile and scene collection for recording vertical video, I'm actually going to set up for recording vertical video. So to do that, I'm going to go first over to the controls panel and select settings. And up pops the settings menu. I'm first going to go over in the settings menu to video and base canvas resolution. You can see right now it says 1920 by 1080 which if you look over here is aspect ratio 16 by nine. Same goes for the output resolution. It's also 16 by nine. We're going to change these because 16 by nine is of course landscape orientation. We want vertical orientation. So we're going to change these numbers. We're just going to reverse them. So I'll select those numbers and go 1080 by 1920. And I will do the same for output scale. That's important. You need to change that to 1080 by 1920. Now for common frames per second value, you can change this to 24 if you want to, or 60, depending on the look that you're going for. I'm going to leave it at 30. And then I'm going to go down here and click the apply button, which will change my settings, but keep me in the settings window. And if I move the settings window out of the way, you can see that the canvas, the preview window is now vertical. So this is going to be a vertical recording. All right, before I leave settings, I'm just going to go over to output and staying in simple output mode, I'm going to go down and check my recording settings here. So you can see the recording path right now is set for my movies folder. I'm going to change that by just clicking on the browse button here. Up comes the finder. And I have a OBS recordings folder already set up. So I'll select that. And then I'll hit open to take that. And you can see now that it is changed to OBS recordings. That's the folder. Moving down, you can see recording quality is same as stream, which doesn't really apply because we're not streaming. So I'm going to select that menu. You can see the different recording quality settings. I'm going to select indistinguishable quality large file size because this is not going to be a long vertical video example. 
Now for recording format here, I'm going to select fragmented MP4. So what fragmented means is that when OBS records, it's gonna record your video kind of in segments and paste those segments one after the other. This is great to prevent your recording from being corrupted if something happens like the power goes out or your Mac crashes for some reason. Regular MP4, if that happens, your entire recording is gone because regular MP4 will compile the recording into its final form after the recording is done, after you hit the stop button. So I'm going to select fragmented MP4. And of course, MP4 is the standard format for a lot of social media platforms. So I'll select that. And for video encoder, I'm gonna leave it at software X264. Now I'm running a Silicon Mac, so I could select hardware Apple H.264, but I'll leave it at X264, it's fine. Audio encoder, I'll leave as is, and everything else I'll leave as is, and hit okay. All right, now that my settings are all set up, I can actually start recording vertical video, but to do that, I'm gonna have to bring in my microphone and my camera. So I'm gonna first bring in my microphone. So over here, I'm gonna go over to the scenes panel and you can see I have this scene called scene. I'm gonna change the name of that by right clicking on it and going up to rename and I'll rename it vertical main, call it my vertical main scene. Okay, so over here now in sources is where I bring in my actual microphone and camera. So I'll hit the plus button in sources, create a new source. So doing the microphone first, I'll go up and select audio input capture. And up comes the window here, create new. I'll leave that as is because I am creating a new source. I'm gonna name this though, my SM7B, which is the microphone I'm using. Make source visible, leave that checked and hit okay. Okay, so now in properties for SM7B, my device is actually my Rodecaster Pro stereo interface. That's what my SM7B is connected to. So I will select that, leave everything as is and hit okay. And you can see now here in the audio mixer, my SM7B is active and you can see it bouncing in the meters here. Okay, let's bring in the camera now. Go back over to sources, select the plus button, this time I'm gonna select video capture device and I'll call this a 6100 because I'm using an Alpha 6100 Sony and I'll click okay. And then properties for a 6100, the device, I'm actually gonna select Camlink 4K because that is my video capture card that my Sony Alpha a6100 is connected to. So I'll select that. And there's my camera shot. So I can now hit OK. And I'm ready to record vertical video here in OBS Studio for Mac. Well, not exactly because this doesn't look right. My camera shot is still in the landscape or horizontal orientation. But it's an easy fix. I'll just make sure that my camera shot is selected. And then I'll go down to this little dot here in the corner. Click and drag on it to expand my shot so it fills the frame. Now to center this up. I'm just gonna right click on my camera shot. And in the menu, I'm gonna go down to transform. And in the transform menu, I will select center to screen. And now I'm centered. And now I can record vertical video in OBS Studio for Mac. And to do that, I'll just go down to the controls panel over here and click on start recording. And now I'm recording vertical video in OBS. And I know I'm recording because of the little red dot down here at the bottom of the interface. And you can see the time code is running as well. So this is what recording vertical video in OBS looks like. Pretty straightforward. So now I'm gonna stop my recording and to do that, I just click right on the blue stop recording button. It's a toggle to record and stop record. And now I've stopped recording. So where's my recording? Well, to find it, I just go up to the top menu here in OBS to file show recordings and then i go here here's my folder that i selected here in the finder this is the, the folder i selected in settings to record to store the recordings and here at the top is my video i'll select it and hit the space bar to open it up in quick look and now i'm recording vertical video in obs and, I know and there it is
my vertical video recording here in OBS. So now I can take this video because it's an MP4 and upload it directly to YouTube Shorts or Reels or whatever social media platform I want to upload it to. Just click right on the blue.